This is Thief River Falls Headlines in Brief, a newscast for the Thief River Falls Times and Northern Watch. It's Friday, October 12, 2018. Arriving as it did so early in October, the snowfall Wednesday into Thursday captured a lot of news headlines, and it wasn't very welcome news. The amount of snow varied significantly. Thief River Falls, for example, received a few inches of snow, while Carlstead received 11 inches and Grand Forks a little over 6 inches. On Monday, the school district distributed clip-on lights to children in grades kindergarten through grade 5. As part of Operation Lightsaber, the purpose is to make students more visible to motorists at all times, but specifically while they are waiting for school buses. A story about the city council announced that it is calling for the sale of $4.04 million in general obligation bonds for an improvement project and some equipment purchases. Over half will cover the portion of the costs associated with the 2018 Streets and Utilities Project. It also includes $1.17 million in bonds for equipment purchases at the Ralph Ingolstead Arena. This week was parent-teacher conferences in School District 564. This year, the Thief River Falls School District is taking the opportunity to survey parents, staff, and residents about whether they believe a permanent spring break should be implemented instead of a spring break around Easter. For the weather, cold. As low temperatures will persist through the weekend. Highs on Fridays are expected to be in the mid-30s with a chance of rain after midnight. Plenty of sun, however, is in the forecast. Saturday, highs are expected to be between 40 and 45, but on Sunday, the temperatures are expected to be in the mid-30s. The National Weather Service is tempting us with a forecast that includes temperatures in the upper 40s and into the 50s by next Wednesday and Thursday. The election season is upon us. This next week, the first of the candidate profiles provided as a free service to the candidates by the Times will begin appearing in the newspaper. We encourage you to check them out. There also will be a story and pictures from Manufacturing Day at Lincoln High School. Over 200 students from 10 schools in the region attended the event, which exposed the students to different manufacturing processes. This is the fourth year local manufacturers and colleges have conducted this event. Watch for more news in the Thief River Falls Times and Northern Watch. This is David Hill. Thank you for sharing your valuable time with me.